I don't remember that. Wendy, repeat after me. Yes, Dan did try to subpoena my mom for deposition. I even spoke to the process server. Welcome back to Presume Legal. I'm Misha Janice. Thanks for joining me today as we continue in our Justice for Dan Markell series. In my last video, you heard in full the 2013 motion for relocation that Wendy Adelson filed during her divorce from Dan Markell, as well as the objections and responses that he filed in response. If you haven't yet seen that video, make sure you check it out. It's time stamped from one document to the next, so you're able to just read what Dan filed or what Wendy filed or just see the court order. Anyway, the comments on that video all emphasize how incredibly unbelievable Wendy later was when she testified that she was relieved that her motion was denied. She'd do herself a favor by telling the truth that she was disappointed and more likely furious. Tell a lie in one area and the finder of fact, aka the jury, including those of us in the social media jury, are less inclined to believe you in other topics. Case in point, the subject of this video. The state asked Wendy about her divorce proceedings in her brother Charlie's trial last year. She was asked whether Dan Markell served her mom, Donna Adelson, who was facing trial this fall, with a subpoena for a deposition during the divorce proceedings. Here's how she responded. Was Mr. Markell seeking to depose your mom as part of the divorce? I don't remember that. Do you know if it ever happened? I don't think it happened. I don't remember it. Was the prospect of that upsetting to your mom? I don't think so. I don't remember it. So I don't remember talking with her about it or. So the age old fallback plan for witnesses who'd rather not admit to anything that might make them look bad, the I don't remember card. Well, in case anyone was wondering, and especially for Wendy, who has some serious lapses of memory, this one's for you. First, get you some ginkgo biloba and fish oil supplements before Donna's trial, please. This is a copy of the subpoena for deposition that was to be served on Donna Sue Adelson, care of Wendy Adelson at 3303 Aqua Ridge Way in Tallahassee. She was being commanded to appear at the offices of Dan Markell's attorney, Duggar & Duggar Professional Association, at 10 a.m. on Monday, June 3rd, for the taking of her deposition in the action. Failure to appear may result in contempt of court. So what exactly happened? Did Donna show up for the deposition? Well, no, because she was never actually served with the subpoena. According to the process server, in his sworn affirmation, he was unable to serve Donna after due and diligent searching. One thing to note was the address that he was trying to serve Donna at was Wendy's rental home on Aqua Ridge Way. The process server detailed that multiple attempts were made to serve the subpoena and notes were left at the premises. He even spoke to Wendy Adelson, who told him that Donna lived in Fort Lauderdale, which is not entirely true because Donna lived in Coral Springs at the time, not in the city of Fort Lauderdale. So Wendy, did you forget all the times that this person was banging on your front door trying to serve a subpoena? Or what about the notes that he left on your front door. What did you do with all those notes after reading them? Hmm? Did you forget the conversation that you had with him when you told him that your mom doesn't live there? She lives in Fort Lauderdale. You really forgot all that? Doubt it. I don't remember that. Oh, I'm not sure why Dan's attorney did not choose to serve Donna with the subpoena for deposition at her own residence. Her address in Coral Springs was at that point already in the record in the divorce proceedings. So remember, Wendy included her parents' address as her proposed new home 
in her motion for relocation, which came before this subpoena. But for one reason or another, Donna was never served and the threatened deposition was canceled. So to answer George's question, Wendy, repeat after me. Yes, Dan did try to subpoena my mom for deposition. I even spoke to the process server who was trying to serve her at my house, but ultimately she was never served and she never gave the deposition. That's all I have for you today. Hey, if you haven't already, would you hit that like button before you leave? I'm really trying to gauge interest in this type of content and it's helpful to me to get your feedback. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me. Until the next drop, peace.